Everybody, welcome back to FTL Multiverse. Things are going well. We got a huge flag weapon. Um, where is half my crew? Oh, in the clone bay. Yep, that'll explain a lot. Um, do we board with just two? Yeah. And I was really wondering, like, what did I do with my boarding crew? And like, oh. They're still around. They're just occupied with something. <coughs> you go help. You're not going to be doing too much, but... Manning doors at this point isn't all that amazing anymore. Oh, another shield piercing weapon, huh? Great. An efficient murderer of pirates. Yeah, I heard that before. Probably even in this game. Um, all right. See small populated moon in the distance through there appears to be no ships going to or from shall we approach it oh yeah this is the one that has like hey there's a big storm coming in the ships tend to stop you so you land on a small platform near a small urban city few people outside but you assume finding a store won't be too difficult Slug so senses distress among civilians he advises we leave if the ship again leave the moon you wait for a while soon enough an asteroid storm engulfs the moon pelting the surface good thing we got out of here or else we would have been trapped yeah, but if you talk to civilians, they still say, well, doom is coming, you can still leave it out consequences, I believe. Pre-igniter! Ah, okay. Good to know. So what if you go on with it? What happens then? Do you actually end up finding the store? Okay, so you always find the store then. Use an augment. Oh, is this wrong? Hey, you can use the you can scrap the pre-igniter to get more weapon damage, uh, weapon power. Nope. Hmm. Basically, want this at three in the hopes that we find that one NG event. It's like, hey. Show me your best system, and we will give you a brilliant augment for it. Uh, 
What do you get when you get doors, though? What will be a door augment? <laughs> this one will be the, like, the... Fire suppression. Huh. Cool. Here to here, here to here. Yeah, we have some time. Um, all right, let's see what they have. Hey, it's that thing again. Chain heavy. Slow charging chain does two damage by default, but uh, never mind. It's only one power, which is pretty solid, but. 14 seconds for a single shot. Type virus module. Uh, nah. Magnetic arm is just a crummier version of a scrap arm. Fleet ships? You mean uh, stuff overtaken by the rebels? Did I just say webbles? Webbles. The webbles. <sighs> um, okay. Kamayari beam. A potentially incredible powerful beam adapted to the environment. Damage is about whenever you fire it, but can increase an infinite amount of times. <laughs> Did anybody actually ever check how high the damage counter goes? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think there's ever a ship where you could fire it enough times that that actually becomes relevant. Uh, this could be a good replacement for the hull laser, although we are using a pre-igniter, so nope. Then again... Bring that only ticks once. I know, right? Basic laser. Yay! <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Still got a long ways to go. It's a Zoltan share. You know what? We have a pre igniter. Habush. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um, what's that? The Mantison? Mercy generator. All right, um, Cavendish has one of these as well. 
drones. Yay. Are we ever going to use the halberd beam again? Nope. Alright, so let's get some... Oh, you can actually go up to... F you guys do know how ridiculously potent the level 4 teleporter is, right? <laughs> I'd like to see them try at this point. True, but it basically means your teleporter has no cooldown and technically doesn't take any power anymore either. Recon teleporter. Yeah. I've had the luxury of being able to exploit that once before. Let's work out with this thing. Uh, sure. Oh, there you go. Haunted Nibblelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
one of these days though Calculation hails you and begrudgingly request that you accept their surrender. Nope. <laughs> Come on, lads, you should know better. And still two people left. Well, better up to it. It'll get through eventually. doing you're level one not even leveled you can tell we're not really being shot at a lot At least now I can train some evasion. Look at that! All them dodges. Uh, no. Guess he really didn't care about living all too much. Now well, that's his prerogative. Um, I don't. No, there's no point, right? I don't have anybody who can man sensors. If I had somebody manning sensors, I would take that, but. Yeah. Caught by Freeman to ship, piled by rider lost from captain. Oh, greetings. You not yet run away, so assume you friendly. You come here by mistake, looking for Federation sector to enroll in military. Now we hunted by militia. Very unfortunate. Think you could do favor and convince militia we good. Sure. Much appreciate, friend. You follow the directions to find a militia ship. Already arrived in the sector, they haven't noticed you. Hi. Yeah, what do you want? You explain Freeman's ship they're hunting is only trying to pass through the sector peacefully. Mr. Captain breaks the left higher joking you have to be you have to be. If there was anything the rebellion got right that aliens are dangerous. They're filthy mantis. You can't trust a word they say. Hey, did you look have a you know, by any chance had a look at the crew we are carrying? You know, like two mantis and an elite suzerain? No? Well. You know. Surrendering. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be much surrendering. Yeah, but I mean, we still have Alex and Scoops. Um, your weapons don't look too threatening, so let's uh, go, uh, go, uh, go. Well, so much for surrendering. They're all dead. 
If you kill the magician ship, you save the three mans for now and scrap the remains of the magician ship. You kill them. Why that unnecessary? We want not dead civilians. We just want safe travel. Still, you save us a pay us thanks, but hope you not do this in future. Yeah. Nah, not yet. It's extremely rare to see a suzerain ship outside of the Mantis' hive, but even less so in civilian territory. One particular brave suzerain ship is attacking a militia caravan. The escort is poorly equipped and hardly stands a chance. Can I not choose to help this suzerain? I kind of want another one of those. You know? Yeah. Oh god, the doors, not the doors. You're not gonna... No, of course you won't. Ugh. Emergency respirators. No thanks. We're kind of full of all augments now. suppose so yeah I'm gonna guess it's hard to tell when they do though Does this still work? I'm guessing, yeah, it probably will, right? To get to level 4. And yeah, I've seen the effects, but it's pretty difficult to notice on a... F on your own crew, let alone seeing it happen when the enemy uses it. So what happens now? Could he still do something for us? Teleporter is too powerful for your... <laughs> The raw power of our teleporter is gonna tear this universe apart. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Um, let's start working on the shields, I guess. We might get our final level in piloting here as well.
Wait. Did I miss with you? Or, like, not hit the room? You only have level 2 and you deal 2 system damage. How are you left on 1? Don't tell me this thing has system casing. Either that or I aim at shields and drones with the beam. No way, you don't... What? Was I that mistaken on this thing? Yeah, okay, that, that's great, by the way, but what's going on here? Do you only deal system damage? I thought you did one point of hull as well. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so it's a bow beam from Captain's Edition. I, w I thought it did one normal damage too then. Also, you going through two shield layers? Come on, man. I'm pretty sure there's a law against that. Thing, huh? Because I'll be trafficked by tons of ships. Through your hails are drowned out on a single ship response. You suspect the rebellion will struggle to track you amongst all these ships. Cool. Let's talk to you a bit more. And, like, actually talk to you. Susan wonders what you think of Mantis combat music. When you ask to hear it, it tells you that you must be in the middle of combat to listen. Is it like that? Japanese noise music or like industrial music. Sounds like going to the dentist. <sighs> Either that or it's uh, what are they? What are they called again? Music from um, uh, I know somebody on the Discord was a big fan of it. Sabaton. <laughs> They got some combat-related music. Um, what are we doing? I don't know. Hacking the three is always a good idea. layout crummy layout for crummy people Legitimately designed to be annoying. <clears throat> 
Okay, so you're fully levels. I'm gonna guess you're nowhere near fully leveled. Okay. Never mind, forget I said anything. This is mainly why we need more weapon power. Hey, shield guy leveled up though. Attacking down. All right, next volley will kill unless we miss. Nope. Not the worst deal we've had, but um, you know, you're you're out of ship, and we don't like out of ships at this point. Okay, next auto ship you come across can get a blast of these two weapons. Well, that'll be a treat. Soldiers of Space being appears. Not to be a ship, but a large factory. You can't say anything noticeably wrong, but it's definitely the right location. But for an inspection, it's clear something is very wrong. A fire has broken out in the factory, and our ship's computers are being overloaded with signals as thousands of distress beacons are activated at once. Is a distress beacon factory? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna. Just gonna go. <laughs> distress beacon factory. Love it. Love it. <sighs> it's a glorious one. Rockshire or Lost Sun Stronghold. Sector appears to be strong of the Lost Sons. From middle rock warriors who rebelled against their tyrannical government. Better sweet allies with the Federation, Lost Sons themselves shouldn't be too hostile towards you. Don't expect a warm welcome. Well, <laughs> get it? Because they're sons. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Can we wave at you? Oh, wait, he's already talking to us. <laughs> Three fortified stations, a squadron of heavily armored guards protect their entry beacon. It doesn't take long till they notice you. Federation ship, your presence here is noted. What is your business in our sector? We wish to learn more. You think we are naive, stupid enough to believe you come here in search of knowledge. You're a military ship bearing guns and a Federation sign. And I appreciate lies. Oh, come on, I wanted to learn more. This is the first time I get. Uh, we safely passed. You must hand over a portion of your ammunition and drone parts. Uh, sure. Did I misread that as them saying all of them? Okay. 
Eh, <clears throat> we'll get more drone parts. It's not like we rely on it to win. <clears throat> as long as we get a few for the flagship, it should be fine. I'm sorry, you guys don't need to breathe. How do you have emergency respirators? Um. <laughs> they don't even. Have... <laughs> well, there you have it. They're still... No, he's not in the med bay. I was wondering, oh, they're still dying. No, they're just the ones that aren't in the med bay. Crunch. I doubt this will take the missile launcher offline, but... If you continue to kill lost on ship, the shake alliance they hold with Thrashen will not last for long. At least you get some scrap out of it. Uh, may I remind you, they started it. And we have a drone part back, so all is well with the world. Surviving creative ammunition with one missile in it. Came to hunt some fire obsessed freaks. Not more Federation a holes prepared to be erased. So you're not here to f chase Federation ships, but you're going to chase a Federation ship. Okay. You know, just so we're on the same side on this. Um. Crud. Wait, how was I able to fire that? Huh. That's a minor surprise. Um. Go team up on him or something. But I think on that side note, we're going to end this particular episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. See you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.